One of the biggest questions we get from you guys when we're at a show is why EFI versus a carburetor? Today we're gonna go over five reasons to pick fuel injection over going with a carbureted option. The first reason is cold starts. Trying to start an engine that is carbureted, especially a performance engine, can be daunting at times. Sometimes you gotta pump the gas pedal, hold it down, feather, try to keep the engine running. If you do have a choke, you're playing with the choke to try to get it to work right. When it comes to fuel injection, you just reach your hand in, turn the key and fire it up. Everything is electronically controlled through a coolant temperature sensor, and the system already has a strategy for how cold the engine is and how to warm it up. Number two is power and efficiency. People are gonna say out there that a carburetor is gonna make more power than an EFI engine, but I wanna bring back this argument. Over the entire RPM range of the engine, that EFI system is gonna be running more proper and produce more power and torque through the entire RPM range, even if it loses a couple horsepower up top. But from our testing here in most situations, you're gonna be making the same, and if not a little bit more from time to time as far as peak horsepower and torque. When it comes to fuel efficiency, EFI systems are gonna lean out when you're cruising down the road because the engine's not under a load. That's gonna give you more mile per gallon improvement than over that carburetor that's always set to run at a specific air fuel ratio that's always assuming max power. Even if that power isn't needed, it's gonna be giving the extra fuel and that just means that you're running richer even when cruising down the road and that's gonna hurt fuel economy. Number three is altitude and weather conditions. You may see at the drag strip that a lot of times people have a full barometric pressure thing to try to tune their carburetors perfect to make the max power and just a small weather adjustment can affect that. When it comes to fuel injection, we deploy a bunch of sensors like the coolant temperature sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, and a barometer which is basically a built-in little weather station so the EFI system always knows where it's at so it knows how to provide the perfect air fuel ratio for your engine, no matter if you're at sea level or 7,000 feet, or if it's 30 degrees outside or 100 degrees outside. Number four is tuning and diagnostics. With the carburetor, when you start tuning, the first thing you gotta do is go to your toolbox and pull out a screwdriver. Hopefully you don't have to pull out more tools because that will lead to a complete carburetor rebuild. With the fuel injection, once it's installed, you get a handy handheld controller where you can adjust everything directly through the handheld. Not to mention, those handhelds have a fault readout that'll tell you where the problem is if one is there. And number five is reliability and maintenance. When it comes to a carburetor, over time, the ethanol and the fuel is gonna break down the gaskets and the seals, and they're gonna start leaking. Also, jets are a really common thing to get clogged. When it comes to fuel injection, all of the seals are meant to handle the ethanol and the fuel these days. And as far as maintenance goes, if a sensor does fail, which is an OEM style sensor, you can get one from a local auto parts store. Not only that, that computer is gonna tell you exactly which component is bad, so you know exactly what to replace instead of guessing. That is the top five reasons to pick EFI over a carburetor. If you like this video, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you're up to date with all the latest Phytech drops that we have.